I am back with another Rebounder review. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Sydney. I am the founder of Jump and Jacked, and my mission is to help you fall in love with movement using a mini trampoline. So today, my purpose is to open up this beauty and let you know my thoughts. Today, we are going to open an Amazon Rebounder. So I really, really love trying ones that are on the lower end budget because I know if you're trying something new, you're not ready to invest 600 plus dollars into a mini trampoline. So this one right here is around 150 Canadian off of Amazon. I'm on a mission to help you find an amazing rebounder for a lower price. A lot of rebounders can be 500 plus dollars and I know when you're trying something new, you're not ready to invest in that yet. So that's why I'm so excited to be trying this B-Can one right now because it has everything I'm looking for in a rebounder, bungee, bigger size, a T-bar. So I'm so excited to try it out today. I also love B-Can as a company. It has the nicest people working there. So I'm so excited to try it out and let you know my thoughts. Good thing I am post-workout because putting together a rebounder can be a workout, especially if you have to attach the bungees. But this one probably has an amazing tool that will help make it easier. But if it's your first time putting a rebound together, just know it's a little bit of a workout. <laughs> Let's open this beauty up. <laughs> So here's what it looks like with everything out. You get the mat, you get the pole here. So we're gonna have to put that together, the bungees on the side, all the little tools here, but we'll go step by step and do it together. All right, I know we don't want to, but let's start with the instructions. Okay, cool. I already see the tool that is going to be your best friend. So don't throw this away. I know it doesn't look like much, but I promise you, you're gonna need this beauty. Instructions. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is put together the frame. So what you're gonna want is all of these black pieces here. So what we're gonna do is take them out of the plastic and then I'll meet you at the end and show you a close up of what we're going to be doing. So this is the next step. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take all of these pieces, so it's gonna be separate like that, and then you're going to form the shape with all of those pieces. So what we're gonna do is start by putting these facing up. So as you can see here, we want these facing up, not down. And then you want the thin parts to line up with the thicker parts. So see how it gets thinner here? You're gonna want that so it can slide in just like that, okay? And then as you're gonna see on the other side, there's gonna be a little screw that we're gonna put in there. So that's the next step. So grab all of those black pieces, make this shape, making sure the thin part goes with the thick part, and then we'll do the next step together. Then you're gonna wanna grab this little baggie so it has all of the screws and bolts in there. So pull this big guy out. It is gonna be to help tighten the pole and adjust the T-bar level. So don't get rid of this, keep this off to the side. And then what you're gonna wanna do is grab a screw and the silver thingy. So I'll come close and show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is what you're gonna wanna grab next. So you're gonna grab the screw and then you're gonna grab, I wanna call this a bolt, <laughs> but you wanna make sure it's the curved one. So see how it's curved? So you're gonna want this and then we're gonna put it into each part to help connect the shape. So that's the next step, let's do it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is remember, put the thin part into the thick part. All right, so you need a little bit of force there and then you're just gonna make sure the hole lines up and then you're just gonna screw it in as much as you can with your finger and then we'll use the tool to tighten it. For the screws, there's gonna be a thick one and a thin one. So you wanna make sure you're using the thin one for this. So get rid of this one and use this one. And then you're gonna use this tool here and all you're gonna do is tighten it. And then you're gonna hold that bolt there to make sure it aligns with the bar. You can also leave the tightening to the very end if you want, totally up to you. All right, so remember you want the, the curly, let's call it the curly bolt, <laughs> and then make sure you're using the thinner screw. Push the thinner part into the thicker part, put it in, use it with your finger, tighten it as much as you can, and then use the tool to tighten it the rest of the way. And remember to hold the curly bolt in line <laughs> with the bar. We're using real terms here. <laughs> All right, and I'll do another one even closer up so you can see. So out of these, make sure you get the thinner one. So see, we don't want the thick, we don't want the big ones, we want the small one here. And then we want the curly bolt. Curly bolt is the name we're giving it. 
All right, and close up, put the thin part into the thicker part. Line up the holes, put the screw in the bolt. Do it as much as you can with your finger if you want. Just makes it a little easier. All right, and then you hold the curly bolt close to the bar, and then you just go in as much as you can. You can use a tool. I'm gonna tighten it all at the end because sometimes it's hard. Uh, sometimes you have to do a lot of force to get the last of the frame in. So we'll see if that's the case. So that's why I'm just leaving them a little loose so you can do that too. And now let's do the rest of the frame and then we'll meet at the end. Easy peasy, so far it is looking good. Sometimes it's kind of like Ikea if you get Am um, Amazon rebounders, like you can use them and they're great and it works, but then you have to put it together. So if you get high quality ones, usually they're really easy to put together or the bungees are already on. So there's a little bit of con with getting your own, but then in the end, if you're saving that much money and then if it works great, you can't go wrong. So, so far it's pretty good. There are some Amazon ones that are so hard to put together. Uh, that's why sometimes it's better to find the good ones. So they, oops. Oh my gosh, yay. Yeah, so I've had some Amazon rebounders where you have to like get, like I had to get my dad to hammer it to be able to put it together. Like it was not easy at all. Whereas this one just fit in perfectly. So I've had a lot of bad experiences with frames before. Um, so this one is amazing so far to put together, just the frame. So see, that's why I kept all of the screws loose, but it is, fit together perfectly. So now I'm gonna go along with this tool and tighten them all. So you do that too if you haven't tightened them yet. And then we'll meet at the next step. I also love how thin and minimalist the frame is. It's super small and black, super cute. You want your workout equipment to be cute, am I right? All right, beautiful. And next step, let's do it. Okay, next step is where the workout comes in. So what we're gonna do, just move our screws off to the side, make sure you don't lose them. And here is the workout, but that's okay, we wanna work out, right? So what we're going to do is put the mat with the logo facing down. So right now our rebounder's upside down because this is where the legs are gonna come on. So put the mat facing down and make sure it goes in with the shape, okay? All right. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you the tips and tricks to make this as easy as possible, but you're gonna grab your bungees. All right, remember how strong you are. You can do this. You can put the, you can put the trampoline together. So open those bungees. It's tied up here, so just cut this off so you can get into each one. All right. Grab these. So the thing with trampolines too, is they're gonna be stiff at first, but once you keep jumping on them, it'll just get looser and looser. So what we're going to do is do each corner of the bungee first so that it's evenly stretched out. Cause if you do all one sides of the bungees to do the last side would be so hard. So we're gonna do each corner. So I'll do it from afar for here, but what you're gonna do is tuck the bungee in to the black thing here, and then you're gonna put it around the pole so the, these bcan ones have this little black thing so just make sure they're out of the way and then you're gonna fasten it on so i know you probably have no idea what i'm talking about from afar so i will show you close up so from close up this is what i mean you're gonna put the bungee into the black thing and since i'm doing opposite corner it's going to be a lot of strength so what i like to do is come around and use my force oops it's gonna Okay, I'm gonna put it around there. And then it just snaps back in. There we go, that was easy. So as you can see right now, the bungees are really stretched out. So we're just gonna to wanna to finish this in each corner. So again, grab the bungee, put it around right here, put it around this part here for each corner. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure this black little, it kind of feels like duct tape is out of the way. And then you're just gonna put it on. You could already be using the tool, but I swear it's like my thing to use it last minute because I like the struggle, you know? Grind. Or more, it's just stubbornness. I'm sure people can relate. <laughs> all four corners are on, it looks funky right now, but once you put all the other ones on, it'll even out. 
Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to put the bungee on first, make sure that duct tapey thing's out of the way. Put the thinner part of the tool on top of the bar here, and then slip it right here. So you see what I'm doing there? And then what you're gonna do is put the thick part on this thing here. So pull, and then all you're gonna do is put it down, lift it up, and snap. Seriously, so much better. Except then, as you can see, it's so powerful that it twists. So you're gonna wanna untwist it because then it's gonna make the bungees tighter. So sometimes you could also not wanna use the tool to stop so you don't have to untwist it every time, but whatever works for you. I think personally, honestly, cause I had another B can and this happened. Um, so I think I'm just gonna do it with my hands so that I don't have to untwist it every time because that's probably more work. All right, so let's do the rest of the bungees. I'll do them with my hands, see how hard it is. Okay, let's compare with hands. So what you're gonna do again, put on the bungee get the duct tape out of the way, put it underneath, and then pull. Yeah, I think I might do hands because it's a little bit on your fingers, but it's easier than untwisting it. And then make sure you're gonna do bungees over here, and then you're gonna go to the other side of the rebounder just to make sure it's evening out. You don't wanna do all one side because then it's gonna be a pain in the butt to do that side. So after testing it out, I've decided not to use the tool just because, again, it's such a good tool, but when you use it, it twists the bungees. And on my last B can rebender, I did that, but then the bounce was really tight and I don't want a tighter bounce. So I'm gonna use my hands. You can do that with me too if you want, but remember, don't do all one side at a time, go back and forth. So we just did a bungee over there. So now I'm gonna do the, this way because if you do it all on one side, then it's gonna be really tight and then hard to get to the other side. So put it down, pull. Okay, so easy way too is to turn your body and then that way it's much easier to pull and then it snaps in. All right, so let's do this side now. So you're gonna put it in the little blacky thing, get the duct tape out of the way, put it under the rebounder, turn your body this way, use your muscles. Oops, that was almost so seamless. Use your muscles and there. So if you do it in that routine, I put on so many bungees, I swear that's a really easy way to do it. So. Well, let's do it again and turn on some music. Again, this is a workout, so just push through. It's so worth it once it's done. So put on the bungee, get the duct tapey thing out of the way, put it under the bar, hold onto it so you don't lose it, turn your body and pull. Use those muscles that you have and let's do the rest of the bungees together, switching sides each time and then after about 10 minutes, it should be done. So let's meet at the end. Here's what it looks like with all the bungees on after. So again, be so proud of yourself for doing that. My fingers are puffy after that, <laughs> but it's so worth it. So this is what it's gonna look like. So all the bungees are on, and then we will get to the next step. Let's do it. So the hardest part is over. I promise you that is the hardest part. And then we have extra bungees. So hopefully you have extra two, I have three. So that's good because it's just completely normal that the bungees tend to wear out over time. Like it'll take probably like a year or two maybe, but it's just good to have a replacement if that ever happens. Next steps are the legs. So you're gonna get this little white box here and in that box is the legs. So the fact that these are curved legs are amazing. The curved legs tend to really help with balance of the rebounder. Some rebounders, as you jump, the rebounders tend to move, or if you put more weight into one side, it could um, kind of almost fall over. So this is why the curved leg is amazing because it helps with balance. So for an Amazon rebounder, it's so amazing that they thought of that. So pull all of the legs out and let's do that step together. So what you're gonna wanna do is put the curved part facing out. So you don't want it in, you want it facing out. So that's gonna look like this and it's just gonna slide on nicely. You'll hear a little click. You can do that if you want with each leg. And then all we have to do 
is put a screw on. So I did a jump sports rebounder recently and the legs are the exact same. So the way that you just put them on and then you're gonna add a screw right into it at the top. So I'll show you what screws. But again, this is the finish line. You've done the hard part. This is the easy part. So I hope you feel good. So next you're gonna wanna grab this. So it's gonna be the bigger screws and then you're gonna put on this little circle thing. So again, I don't know the technical terms, but you're gonna grab the screw, put this on top of it, and then take the flat bolt, not the curvy bolt, and put it on top of that. Okay, so you're gonna make this, and then what you're gonna do is take the leg that's already in the trampoline, but all you're gonna do is put this in the top, and then you're gonna tighten it. So I'll bring you closer to show you what that looks like. So you have your sandwich here, and then what you're gonna do is take it and put it right into the leg that's already on, so you just have to steady balance it. So same tool here. And then you're just going to tighten it. That easy. Remember, we're done the hardest part. So you can tighten it as much as you can now. And then that leg is done. So you can feel that, feel how sturdy it is. So let's do another leg together. So grab the thick screw, the little thin circle, and then the flat bolt. And then you're gonna put it on into the leg. Make sure the curve is facing out. You gotta balance it here, dang it. And if you do that, just flip it. I'm sure. She... Okay, so I was having a hard, so I was having a hard time getting it into the leg perfectly each time. So I found a little trick. So again, make your sandwich. And then what I want to do to make it easier is I put the tool at the top of the screw, and then you put it in. So that way it doesn't fall to the side. There we go. So that's a good trick. <laughs> All right, all of the legs are done, so we're going to flip it over, and the last thing we're gonna do is the T-bar. So I put this on, and let me bring it closer so you can see what I did, but all you're gonna need is two of these. So you're gonna need the thick screws and then the thin bolts on top. There we go, into focus. So I'll put it apart here. So you're gonna need, so you're gonna need the flat bolt and then thick screw. You're gonna need two of these. So I'll bring you closer to show what I did. So what you're going to do is take this piece, put it down flat, and then you're just gonna pick up the rebounder and slide it in there. And now all you need to do is take the screws and then you're just gonna put them in to these holes here. And there's actually three. So there's two on the side and then there's one on the back there. So again, all you need, that uses up all the screws. So there's gonna be three of them. Put it on the back, you can come up from under, let's see. All right, and then tighten it up and then we are almost done. And then we get to test it out and see how the jump is. All right, that part is done. And now what you're going to do is take the part that curves and you're going to need this tool here. So just the one with the big thing, black thing at the end. And then you're just going to use this to pick your height adjustment. So if you want it taller, you put it there, medium, and then all the way down the bottom one. So play around with that. You can adjust this at any time. Last step, you're gonna need this long screw and you're just gonna put this right here, put a bolt over top, and then screw it in. And this is seriously the last step. Tighten it as much as you can. And that is it. There is your rebounder, my friends. Make sure you keep these somewhere where you'll remember so that you can always use them if anything happens to the bungees. But let's test out the bounce. So normally I don't recommend jumping in socks, but I'm just gonna test it out. If you jump in socks, you just have a higher chance of slipping. But let's jump, test it out. All right, it feels good. So I definitely like it. This one is awesome. The thing with Amazon rebounders is it tends to be a stiffer bounce and this one's still a little bit on the stiffer side, but that is totally okay. If you're new to rebounding, it really helps to have a little extra stiff bounce because you just get a little more comfortable with the movements. So it's like if you're coming on the floor, it feels a lot different. And then if you're coming on here, you get a little bit of return, but you don't get too much where you're like flying up nice and high and you really have to focus on maintaining all of the muscles. So honestly, if you're looking for a beginner rebounder that's not gonna break the bank, this one is an awesome one to get. Customer service is amazing. It's easy to get off of Amazon. It has a great size for you. It's nice and thin. 
so it's easy to move around if you want to push it off to the side. It has the T-bar, so if you're beginning, it's just amazing to have to help hold on to. I also like T-bars. I don't really like the safety bars that come over because then you don't have room to move and it just blocks the front half of your rebounder. Whereas this is out of the way, but still there for you if you need it. Plus it looks very cool. The only con again, is just like Ikea. If you're gonna build your own furniture, it's a little more work. So you have to put the work in, but once you've put the work in, it's amazing and you get to use it forever now. So thank you so much for putting it together with me. I hope you love yours. If you don't have one yet and we're just doing research, click the link below and you can buy it right there. Again, right now it's about $150 off of Amazon and normal rebounders are around 300 plus, plus. Okay, so this is an awesome price. Or if you have a rebounder and are looking for fun workouts, make sure you go to my YouTube channel, try out some workouts on there. Or if you're looking for full length workouts, go to our on-demand fitness platform where we have over 200 plus rebounding workouts that will help you just fall in love with your workout. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'm happy to help.